hi guys welcome back to coding world today in this video we are going to see one more small tutorial regarding a spring boot in this we are going to create an api gateway and using service discovery so we are creating a small microservice project in this we are going to add an api gateway and between your api gateway and your services we are placing service discovery so this this will contains like as shown in the image the our api gateway will be our first uh, point for our external world so all the people will hit our api gateway and api gateway is already registered with a service discovery and from service discovery we are we are redirecting that request to the service in this why we are including the service discovery because it will help you it will help us in a load balancing things also no need to hard code all ip address of your services so all those will be get resolved at the service discovery so there are apart from that there are many features and benefits are there of the service discovery but right now we will stick to the our load balancing and the ip resolution okay so first of all we will create a service discovery then we will create a api gateway and for api gateway we are creating a two services service one and service two all these three services including api gateway we are going to register with the service discovery so let's start with the first service discovery so spring dot io which is our spring initializer which help us to configure our project let's configure our project using a spring initializer so I am selecting 2.6.11 and group will be coding world. Here artifact will be service discovery. I am selecting jar and Java as a relevant. In dependency, you need to just only enter Eureka server. So which will come under Spring Discovery. And I am going to download this project. After download, we are going to import this into our IntelJ. So I have imported my project service discovery into IntelJ and I have not added anything apart from this application properties. So in this application properties, I have mentioned the application name, server port and Eureka register with Eureka. So the Eureka server itself, no need to register with the Eureka server. Hence, we are making it as a false. Fetch registry are also false and other check import and error false these are the only things which you need to add into application dot property files now run this project and check it's working fine or not so i am running this project so before running all your services your service discovery server should be up so all client server client microservice will register with a eureka server so it's working fine and let's check how it looks in dashboard so if you see that like we are not able to see the dashboard of spring eureka server so we need to add one more annotation here which is our unable spring security eureka server now when we restart our application it will show us dashboard in that dashboard we are able to see how many services are registered with eureka server and what is their status okay so it is telling that adding new peer nodes eureka server okay let's hit our eureka server base url and we are able to successfully see that our eureka server has up okay now what we are going to do like we are creating a sample service and which we are going to register with the eureka server then you will able to see available nodes here Okay, let's start a simple service using Spring Initializer. So, for service, you instead of Eureka server, add Eureka client, Eureka discovery client. And here I am going to add service one. Okay, and all other settings I am keeping as it is Maven, Java 2.6.11, JAR, and Java 8 let's download this project and import it into our intelj 
I'm making it as a fast forward and here we have imported our service one into IntelJ but I forgot to add our web dependencies because we are exposing some endpoints from service one and that we are going to hit from the API gateway so let me add web dependency here okay we have added our Spring Boot data web dependency now expose one API let's create one package controller and from here we are returning only hello from service one you can add up whatever you want you can add a JPA and do some DB operation but this is a sample project so we are not not going to that level there's just a scope to integrate the API gateway let's annotate with rest controller we will build this maven so that web dependency will get added okay rest controller then request mapping and in request mapping we are keeping as a hash then we are going to add public stream say hello and returning hello from service one okay annotate this with get mapping and that give name uh, say then value I am keeping as the same slash say okay these are the parameters we are giving so this is a simple microservice which are returning us a say hello when we hit a say now in our application dot properties we are going to add some values regarding to our application like a server dot port 80 this is our first service or we can keep as a 9000 so, so server dot port port is 9000 then spring dot application name name we are keeping as a service one this is an application dot property file we have to add a application dot yml file which is for our eureka server configuration so i am creating application dot yml and in that i am pasting all my eureka server related configuration so this this is our eureka server configuration so on 8 7 6 1 we have our hosted our eureka now let's run our this simple microservice and check that is it, it is going to register with our eureka server or not here i i forgot one eureka client eureka client enable eureka client and now we are going to run our service okay port 9000 is already so i am making as a 9001 let's rerun first it will go and register with our eureka server and then it will fetch all the configuration from eureka server whatever necessary okay it has been registered it is getting all instance registry from Eureka server and response is 200. That means we have successfully registered with our Eureka server. Let's check on our Eureka server. Is there any instance register or not? So if you see here, register instance has been registered and it is up and it is telling that on which port it is running. Now, if I hit localhost, 9001 slash say it will return me hello from service one so i am it is returning from directly from our service no we are not hitting from a api gateway or other service just create one more service so that uh, we will be having a two services i'm just copying this project and marking it as a service to and importing into our other IntelliJ window. 
So I have imported same service into our another instance of IDE. Now instead of port 1, I am marking it as a port 2 and service I am marking as a service 2. Other I am keeping as it is because there we don't require to do any changes. So let's run this application and check is it going to register with our Eureka server or not. So I am running this server. Okay, so it is running on 9002 and response is getting success. Let's check, are we getting a one more instance? So yeah, we are getting one more instance, which is a service 2 and it is running on 9002. From our diagram, we have completed service discovery service 1 and service 2 we need to change we need to add api gateway and from api gateway we need to route our service to respective services i forgot to change let's hit and check say service okay it should return a service to i need to change into controller because we have copied as it is let's check it and change it to hello from service 2 okay so all our changes done for the service 1 and service 2 now what we will, we are going to do we will create an api gateway let's open our spring boot initializer in spring boot initializer we have to add service discovery i am keeping all setting as it is instead of service 1 i am marking it as api gateway Okay, you are done with API Gateway and I need to add Gateway API which is a Spring Cloud Routing. I think this is enough. Okay, let's import, let's download this and import into your IntelJ. I have successfully imported API Gateway into my IntelJ. Now we, I have not added anything, just a plain sample project. Now we have to register our API gateway with, with our with our Eureka. Hence, I am annotating main class with Eureka client. Now we have to add the Eureka related configuration, which I am going to add by creating application dot yml. Application dot yml I have added, and let's add server port as a eight zero eight zero. In application.yml, I am going to add the properties. So guys, this is our application.property, application.yml property file, which contains our application name. Then we have our routes, which are like uh, whenever you hit a local API gateway slash service one, then all the requests will redirect to the service one. And if we do same for the service two, all requests will redirect to the service service two. Now we have to run this API gateway and need to register with Eureka server. Let's start our application. Okay, so if there are too many logs are printed, like uh, router, factory, query, path, ready, body, and you can read that log in your console also. Registering API gateway with our Eureka with the status IP up and timestamp current all those status are like a equity test status, our health status of our API gateway, discovery API client, discovery API client. So all this registered. Okay, now, and it is running on 8080. So if we hit API gateway URL, then that will redirect to the service discovery and from service discovery, it will find appropriate service and to that service it will redirect. So we have successfully started our API gateway and you are able to see that API gateway has been registered with a, our Eureka server, API gateway service 1, service 2. Now what we are going to do, we are going to hit our APIs, gateway API endpoint and that should redirect to our service 1. So, if I hit my service to 9002 with a say, it is telling me hello from service 2. Now same API I will hit from our API gateway, which is 
8080 service 2 and C. Now service 2 will redirect our APIs to our service 2. This predicate, this keyword actually we have defined in our predicate like URL, whatever our base URL, post that if service 2 comes, we will redirect to that service 2 microservice. Now we are keeping service 2 and saying say. It is returning me say hello from service 2. That means we have successfully implemented API gateway and we are able to redirect our request from client to it API gateway to service discovery to service 1 and service 2. Like let's check for the service 1. If I mark it as a service 1, then it is saying hello from service 1. So guys, in this we have not taken any uh, specific example. We have just created the skeleton from scratch which contain our Spring Cloud Eureka server and Spring Cloud API gateway. You, you can extend this uh, skeleton and you can create your own project over that. So guys, this is it for API gateway using Spring Boot. And if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and please share this video with your friend. Get knowledge and spread knowledge. Thank you. Happy coding.